Hey everybody, welcome back to your weekend love reading. We're going to take a look at your weekend from September 8th through the 11th. So if you have a birthday on the 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th, happy birthday specifically for you guys. I hope you have a lovely birthday weekend. Um, and everybody else, happy birthday to you as well, my lovely Virgos. So, okay, personal reading link is below this video. I just realized that I didn't update that um, I put the link back in, back in, so I just did it. So if you want to get a reading with me through September, go ahead over there to my website and you can book it. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading. This is a channel if you're new for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? So as you know, some of the messages may or may not resonate, but just take what fits, leave the rest. Let's see what's coming up for you for the weekend, okay? Wow, you've got passion, amazing, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. Okay, this is awesome. Something mm, pretty yummy is happening. It's just like living in paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying time with each other, and heart with a key. Beautiful, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart getting together and perfect so something's coming in here maybe you're going on you know a tropical holiday over the weekend for your birthday or just doing something special um, I feel like you guys are going to meet somebody or you're going to meet the one um, where there's just this insane chemistry okay it's going to feel joyous enjoying each other over the weekend whatever you're doing whomever you're doing it with okay Let's see, let's get into this reading, see what else is coming up for you. This is awesome, you guys. Awesome, even if you're just staying home. You could be going somewhere like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe go to a gym called Paradise Gym, or you are, well, I wouldn't say, well, some of you could be poolside or somewhere near the water. There could be somebody, you're drinking some passion fruit cocktails, <laughs> um, just, just um okay some of you are going to be looking at homes or houses this weekend you might be purchasing a home maybe you're going to an open house or you are um, going somewhere with a real estate agent um, doing some shopping for some of you okay and yeah i feel like you're going to meet somebody over this weekend let's see let's see let's see okay so wow six of pentacles in the reverse okay some of you might be going to a charity event but you're not <laughs> you're not being charitable i don't know i just heard that um hmm, let me see let me see what else is going on here so this feels to me like you're keeping to your like i was gonna say keeping to yourself or your i see somebody like standing by um oh okay they just said okay um now for some of you if you're doing something i i just so it's so strange they're showing like if you're at a restaurant or something they're showing someone there's an event that happens someone forgets to tip the server someone forgets to tip the server why is this important i don't know i just feel like it's either you or someone you're connecting with or this like this other person forgets to tip the server and it seems to be like someone says oh wow did you forget or are you just a selfish whatever you are like there's <laughs> such a weird message okay but then they're like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh no i totally forgot i totally forgot to tip the server let me do that or forgets to pay for something for some of you okay there might be someone here who expects you to pay for everything and I don't know what this means, but I feel like you might be saying, no, we'll go halves, we'll go halves. Okay, I, that may not be for, it's just for somebody here that wants to go Dutch, okay? I don't know, it's sharing in this, this. Um, it's like a 50-50 equal 
kind of thing that two people are doing together okay um, that's just a very specific message but what I feel like here for some of you is the well most of you the overall message is whoever you're connecting with this weekend there's an energy of someone's like no I'm going to take care of everything and you know it's like Ta -da! like the horns the triumphant horns come down and everybody's like oh my gosh this is you're so generous and you're so sweet okay um it, it's interesting it's very interesting all right let me just keep moving here I don't even understand okay <laughs> Okay, you guys, just give me a second because they're also telling me that um, okay, they're telling me that there there was some person that you're connecting here with um, over this weekend. You might have known them before, and they were extremely selfish like a very selfish person or they were extremely dependent on like either financially because I'm seeing a lot of money stuff coming up here financially dependent on you or other people all right and there's kind of like this wake-up call this person is having where they're not going to be that way especially if you're celebrating a birthday this weekend okay where somebody is like maybe in the past if you knew this person in the past they may have forgotten your birthday or things like that or they weren't very giving okay or they they just kind of it was just very wrapped up in themselves or maybe a miser and didn't want to spend money but I feel like even if you don't know them that's how they were before with others but something here with this person over this weekend that you connect with them they're like not even that person anymore they just completely like there's an opening up here with judgment there's like wow you know it's kind of like a, a reckon I'm gonna reconcile this bill I'm gonna reconcile everything I'm gonna pay for everything this is a gift for you that I'm gonna give to you I was very selfish before in my life with other people and that's one thing i don't know if somebody's having like an epiphany or a wake-up call and i'm not just talking about like okay someone paying for everything equates to true love i'm not saying that it's not necessarily just about money it's about making a sacrifice so i feel that overall message here is someone is making a sacrifice for you over this weekend so that you both um can enjoy yourselves it, it just not like I said not just about money because we are seeing financial things here but there's a giving nature here with someone who perhaps in the past was just non so when we talk about lo love language and gifts and acts of service I feel like this person has now adopted to those types of a love language okay so they are now performing acts of service they are now more giving um this could be somebody that you know you connected with in the past where something is different something here has changed if you knew them before let me see what else is going on oh yeah so okay i feel like this person may have a lot of regret and remorse because they were not a very giving person and again let me reiterate we're not just talking about materialistic ways there that is an aspect of this but it's also in regards to um, someone even certain things like let me give you an example um you you they walk through the door first be in front of you and they don't hold the door open for you they just kind of kick it back with their foot so that you can get in too you know what I mean I'm, I'm feeling like chivalry in some areas and I'm also feeling like for example um, <clears throat> if someone goes to the kitchen to get a glass of water um, they get it and then they come back with it just for themselves where this person I see is going in to get a glass of water and then is like do you would you like something and then coming back with something that you would like or that you are you say yes yes I'd like a glass of water like I know these are very simple examples but 
it just feels to me like somebody was extremely m m just self about self you know uh, it's like me first and then maybe you later i don't know if that's something that you have experienced but i feel like they if, if you know them they were like that with you in the past and if you didn't if you don't know who this person is they're coming in new um because judgment can be reconciliation like i said so this could be you spending time with someone from before but if you didn't know this person and this is like a new person you're connecting with over the weekend um there's an energy here of like they used to be that way and they're not being that way anymore they've made some huge changes sacrificing um giving just a more giving energy oh my gosh like i feel like this person has a lot of feels a lot of stress and guilt about you know maybe who they used to be or the way they presented themselves in the past um even like simple like i'm at these simple examples like i don't know not not being timely not being consistent um not reaching back out not letting you know certain things um it's just all about them first do you know what i mean and i'm not knocking self putting yourself first but we can put ourselves first and still give to others that's being well-rounded right it's when we're putting ourselves first and forgetting everybody else and not sharing and not being nurturing and a giving type of a person that that's like okay there's a disconnect i feel like this person is having a reconnect to self and understanding you know in a relationship yes you know i i have to have my needs met but i also want to meet yours as well and vice versa and then that's the reciprocity i feel like with the six of pentacles in the reverse that was lacking there was no reciprocity okay there was just this very selfish energy very dependent also or someone who was like broke busted and disgusted and i mean that in like in all forms spiritually emotionally physically financially every which way and so this person very stressed about the way they were and, and i'm just hearing making it up to you okay making it up to you so if this is someone that you know you've got somebody here who's going to make something up to you on this weekend okay what else oh wow ten of pentacles in the reverse and the knight of wands in the reverse okay yeah so oh, this is kind of telling me that this person was wild and crazy and impulsive in their past um not cohesive with the family security safety and trust this person if you knew them before they 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 gave the message that they could not be trusted okay and if you don't know them yet th this is just whoever they are how they were in their past how they were before this person was possibly a player um going outside of a relationship cheating um being like a sexual deviant as well just but it's like extremely pulsive knight of wands energy in the reverse is like all over the place you know it, it, at least when the knight of wands is in the upright that means that the person's energy is they may be impulsive but they're going in a particular direction they know what they're doing they're charging forward and they keep moving in a linear fashion but in the reverse the knight of wants is someone who is um makes lateral moves they're all over the place they're here they're there they they you never know what they're they're just very impulsive and scattered with their physical activities and their energy so that's kind of like a tremendous sleeping around energy with this person um and yeah there's there's some major thing a major change because all of these cards surround the judgment card and this is like self-awareness this is like wow my behaviors wow i'm having a wake-up call i'm aware of how i lived my life and i know what my purpose here in life is and i know what i need to do okay and, I, and this is what i'm going to do to make these changes and it feels like over the weekend um there's going to be something just like wow this person will wow you is it false no 
because with judgment, I feel like they are coming into tune with, you know, who they need to be, that they need to give, there needs to be reciprocity in a relationship. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. So Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, it could be connecting with that person. Or this is just an energy of someone who is now very stable and grounded. You know, the King of Pentacles is like a business person. King of Pentacles is not someone who is, you know, they're quite reserved, uh, grown up, really, just mature. King of Pentacles is actually the most mature sign um, in the Tarot. So I feel like this person's energy, they're coming in with, with you know, um, safe Pentacle energy always makes me feel like with earth energy, safe, someone that can be trusted. So this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Maybe you don't need to know all this back stuff, but I do feel um, this person might tell you about their past behaviors. There might be some type of communication about how they were in the past, maybe with somebody else or another relationship, or that they've always been kind of on their own and yeah page of pentacles so kind of on their own they may not have ever been in a long-term relationship because they were selfish or nobody wanted to put up with their bullshit so that energy i feel like there's some communication here with this from this person where they're telling you like my focus now is on stability and i want to provide for you and this is their way of either making it up to you or showing you okay this is like action this is like it's like it's it there's a little bit of show and tell but the show is going to be the tell okay let me see what else is going on here okay yeah i feel like this person so the two of swords they're very intuitive and or they've become that way um i feel like there's it just said double-edged sword. I don't know what that means. But the two of swords, yeah, this is giving me um, something here about making a decision. There's a big decision here that this person, they're sitting in contemplation mode. Why? What's going on here? What are they deciding? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not what they're deciding. It's that they've decided to walk away from those past behaviors. Okay, new chapter they're starting their life over. So I feel like if you don't know this person, they may tell you that they've, you know, given up that lifestyle. They're not doing that kind of thing anymore. They're starting over. Uh, and for some of you, um, this is a shift and a change that they made at the end of 2021. You may not kn have known them, so, but they may tell you about it or you might be in separation and reconnecting with this person again. And 2021 was huge. The end of the year going into January was, was a huge shift for this person. Let me see. Okay. The hermit in reverse. So I feel like, I feel like the person's energy now is like an opening up. Okay. They'll, I feel like they were quite isolated uh, very isolated all alone at one point up until now I feel like they've just been kind of hiding out so the hermit upright it's more of an energy of just taking some time away but the hermit in the reverse is like going into hiding going into hiding I feel like this person went into deep self-awareness deep self-reflection which is lovely I don't feel like this person has any kind of like malignancy as far as like you know personality disorder um, because of their ability to self-reflect and become self-aware which is a lovely energy so I know somebody here must be thinking that would not be my person because they're a narc <laughs> and narcs can't self-reflect so it might not be this person has the ability so for some of you somebody new this person has the ability to self-reflect what was their self-reflection they were drinking too much indulging too much dating like i said that knight of wands in reverse a lot of um what i want to say like possibly sleeping around or over flirting and never committing to anything just spreading themselves thin okay so let me get a few more messages to see 
tell me about this weekend that Virgo is going to have with this person. What is this weekend going to be like? Oh, okay. They just threw out a whole bunch of cards. The sun. Look at that. Judgment is here again. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So, Virgo, I feel like there's a huge awakening, joy. Like I said, there's a tremendous amount of self-evaluation with this person. A renewal, okay? Decisiveness. So, um, hmm, okay, give me just a second here. Okay, someone's going to, I, I just got this message. There might be plans to do some type of Halloween. Um, they're telling me like a haunted house walkthrough or something. There might be talk about that over the weekend. Hey, you want to do this thing? So it's kind of like plans for much later. This is specific. Um, some kind of Halloween walkthrough. But I feel like there's going to be... Um, an outdoor event possibly or, or maybe there's like a fall festival or a fair or something uh, you might meet this person or you guys might connect with each other and or you get invited to go to some kind of like you know I don't know it's September I don't know if people are having like pumpkin festivals up in the northern area you know or something along those lines or some kind of like outdoor event um, where they're swimming or there's, you know, getting ready for, you know, going into spring and being outside more if you are in the southern hemisphere. There's there's like an outdoor type of, there might be children around, a uh, children's party or face painting I'm hearing or something along those lines. Um, they're also giving me like, you know, when you go to like one of those like carnival and games, um, you got to, you know, throw the ball and see how many, oh, there could be bowling or throw the ball and see how many like cups you can knock over with one hit or something. I don't know if anybody's doing that, <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks like, I mean, this is kind of like this nine of pentacles, or, sorry, nine of pentacles, interesting, nine of cups. There's some, um, I'm hearing Okay, so they're telling me like a win-win situation. They're telling me achievements, a win-win situation with this King of Swords. Okay, for some of you. So this might be a separate message. Some of you might be connecting with um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius over the weekend as well. And there's like some type of fun event. Um, okay, so they're just telling me like a work event. There might be a work event. A work event a work picnic a work festival or something along those lines also overall like I don't know if you're gonna have two people to choose or this person is somebody that you work with and then you spend some time with them over the weekend okay or you go somewhere together do some things together okay so you have teamwork okay teamwork yeah oh now here's the the king of wands oh my gosh there's gonna be a lot of people around on this weekend or wherever you're going there's gonna be i just see like maybe a crowd or there's a lot of people and i'm feeling a very strong like here we go here's now the queen of pentacles there's a lot of people over this weekend so you might be around a tremendous amount of people or go to, like I was saying, some kind of outdoor event or something along those lines where there's a connection or you meet the that you meet this person. It's like, oh my goodness, um, male or female energy, fire, air, earth, okay? The lovers, the ace of cups. So there's like a new beginning. Here's an invite. For some of you, there's an apology coming over the weekend, um, but there's also this invite, um, some of you might be going to a psychic fair, I just heard as well. You've got like someone who's crushing on you as well. You have an admirer, uh, wants to have like a brand new beginning. These are the three best cards here, okay? So I'm feeling like overall the message here is, so, is someone is making a sacrifice 
being less selfish, making something up to you, maybe an apology, uh, having a new beginning or meeting somebody new and, and them telling you, you know, how they used to be in the past, that they were uh, kind of like, um, you know, just very selfish or a player or something like, like that. Meeting you changes everything. Yeah, so they were a ghoster. <laughs> I don't know if it's it's ghoster like they ghost you or they ghost people or they were non-committal or there's yeah, the ghost theme something to do with like haunted houses or Halloween or something along those lines very interesting um, yeah this person had so many options or so many choices multiple possibilities and opportunities um, having to pick and choose so many decisions and then procrastinating because there was just, they, they, they had too much on their plates, spreading themselves thin, living in fantasy land, wishful thinking, um, dreaming uh, about uh, idealizing someone or the, having the perfect person, you know, but now being more grounded. Um, somebody here is, you know, seriously making a very grounded um, faith-based offer. Something that's like, you know what, I'm going to finish finally what I start I feel like there's somebody that was so impulsive that they oh get a bee in a bonnet about doing something they want to do this one do this and then as soon as they got over it and it was like not satisfying then they went to the next thing you know and they never really like followed through with something consistent long-term basis that was an issue for this person and it feels like oh that's changing why because you are the one there's something here this person comes to realize um oh this is the one that is what changes everything for this person a recognition okay so over this weekend i feel like whatever you're doing if there's a birthday party or some kind of celebration you're definitely going to hear from someone there's going to be a connection that gets made for some of you and this is kind of like i'm just feeling like someone saying you know i'm too old for this anymore i need you know i really want to settle down and I, I you know i've lived my whole life never really committing and just playing around so much and you know going from one person to the next to the next to the next and something about you gives this person like they're incentivized to want to change their ways as well okay um, or to keep moving in that direction it's like a beautiful i was just gonna say it's a beautiful gift and here you are here you go the ace of pentacles okay this is a this is a new this is a gift investing someone investing security stability happy birthday virgo <laughs> maybe you're just getting some really nice gifts for your birthday as well or or really nice um they could be giving you a gift as well there's something brand new it could be money or um it's, but this feels more like a spiritual thing that's being brought down. This is your birthday gift here. You know, it's it, it for some of you, it's tangible. For others, it's more like uh, universal. It's more like divine timing, like a divine gift that's being given. It's crazy sometimes how these messages come out. Let me take a look here at the romance angels. What do the romance angels want to say for Virgo? Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversation is coming out this weekend. Honestly discussing your feelings with each other. And that's what I was saying. I feel like this person is coming in with this heart-to-heart. -heart. I feel like they're going to, um, you know, explain or talk to you about this past energy or these things that they've done or how they used to live their lives and how they've woken up to that's not satisfying um becoming uh, getting rid of that impulsive activity when it comes to love right not not it's okay to be impulsive in love when you're with another person if you're impulsive in love this is my opinion and you're just sleeping around constantly with every tom dick and harry sue jane and nancy then you know that's that can wear very thin and that that's what i feel like is happening here somebody is like so tired of that lifestyle okay 
healing family issues yeah your love life benefits as you forgive your parents somebody had a parent that slept around a lot or cheated or was um well this person um oh, there was a lot of inconsistency things they saw a parent do um and that's very specific somebody may have had a father who had a ton of children with different women or um had a mother that was just you know from one husband to the next that kind of energy there there's some family trauma or uh something in, within a family it doesn't specifically have to be that but there might have been a relationship between parents that um this person kind of what's the word mimicked in their personal relationships with others okay so i feel like that 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 is definitely playing a role and there's some healing of these this family stuff which is going to be part of that heart to heart conversation it, it might get really deep it might get deep some of you might be like all right let's hold this off for another time you know or it might they might just tell you kind of like nonchalantly you know about their past behaviors and you know now they're trying to yep here you go clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now this person is definitely remember i said making a decision they've made a decision they've decided they're they're done with that past lifestyle okay maybe they were a bachelor or bachelorette and it just is not satisfying them anymore and they've either made that decision in 2021 to make these changes um whatever it is there's a conversation about this from this person and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so this person either they know you or they've known you in the past okay um or you guys meet and then reconnect later there this is it this is they look at you this person looks at you and uh, th you there's something about you mary <laughs> i don't know who mary is but there's something about you that this person feels like I'm ready. Um, Virgo is the one. Virgo is the one that is the ascent advisor. Virgo is the one where I feel like I can make these changes. So your advice is to go slow. Take time to get to know each other, either for the first time or again over this weekend. Try to understand um, if you can. Hear somebody out. Firm boundaries are needed now, Virgo. So you want to keep your boundaries right intact no need to change anything here okay boundaries do not equate with blocking boundaries equate with respect okay so know who you are keep your king or queen's crown adjusted properly okay get off the computer this weekend virgo <laughs> get off the phone whatever it is um try to be present and in the moment with this person when they come okay um, I mean, if you're going to take pictures, I know I know most people take pictures with their camera, uh, with their phone. Um, if you can stay off your phone uh, over this weekend or away from the computer and you want to take pictures, just try to get yourself like a little regular camera and just be in the moment with the shots. You know what I mean? Be in the moment with the shots I'm hearing. Okay. So there's an apology coming for some of you. You can expect the apology you want to hear. And that's what I was saying. Somebody is definitely going to try to make something up to you. Okay. Use your intuition. You already know the answer that you seek, Virgo. So stay in tune with your intuition and also abundance. You've done the work. Abundance fl is flowing to you now, especially over this weekend. Okay. Any red flags that you see, pay attention to them if you see them okay and call them out when you see them don't be afraid i feel like it's a really strong message virgo you got to call people out on their red flags 100 percent. if somebody is like i don't know if you just get a sense of someone is kind of like blowing smoke call them out on it ask more questions if they run away and they don't want to answer any questions then you know when you call the devil out the devil will flee <laughs> every single time that's how you know you're dealing with someone but you're not as long as you're not holding anyone accountable or calling people out on things and and, and that doesn't mean like in a mean way but just addressing red flag issues then those red flags will continue that has a lot to do with your boundaries okay 
So I think that's going to be it. I think we're good. So I'm going to leave your weekend reading here. And again, I hope you guys have a fantastic birthday and an awesome weekend. And I will see you all back here Sunday evening. All right, take care. Bye.